Hey, hey guys, welcome back to the channel. This is going to be a review of a keyboard that I actually picked up when I was in California, the ASIO RCK Elwood. This is something that when I was out in California taking a trip with Nacho Customs, I saw in store at ASIO and I had to get one of these. And the packaging of the keyboard itself is absolutely beautiful with the logo and the magnetic latching uh, opening of the cardboard box itself. You get the logo as well on the little plastic enclosure for the keyboard itself. And when you take the board out of that enclosure for the first time, you can see how beautiful the metals are with the logo, the RCK logo by ASIO. It is a vintage keyboard uh, typing experience and just looks and feels absolutely hefty out of the box. You do get a little booklet of the Retro Classic Collection and you get a bag for, from ASIO for your cables. You've got the feet for the keyboard if you want to raise it up. You've got your cables and then another beautiful element of the keyboard itself and the unboxing experience is the arm and wrist rest, which is also made out of wood to match the keyboard itself. And within the box, you do get the little booklet encasing with your quick start user guide and a nice touch from ASIO and something that makes the unboxing experience feel very premium is you actually get a matching card, which is your warranty card with a little congratulatory note and your serial number and warranty information and certificate of authenticity. The unboxing experience I would say is uh, very akin to buying a high-end watch. You have your options for Bluetooth, USB and off. Mac, PC, and you have your USB-C input at the top middle of the keyboard itself. And when you turn the keyboard on to the Bluetooth position, you can see it actually enables the backlit effect on the switches, uh, which is a per switch and uh, per key backlighting, which actually looks phenomenal and maintains that classic vintage feel and look to the uh, classic typewriting experience. And to add that backlighting with the metal and wood, uh, it kind of still flows together, comes together and looks absolutely phenomenal. You can use the Bluetooth functionality uh, with your PC if you have Bluetooth functionality or your tablets and Mac products. As far as the USB-C cable, it is a braided cable. It's got a lot of length to it and mobility. I don't think you'll have any issue plugging that and being able to reach your PC or peripheral. And as far as the wrist rest, I'm actually not somebody who typically uses a wrist rest with my keyboard, but this thing is actually kind of changing my opinion and outlook on wrist rest. This thing is very, very comfortable, looks absolutely phenomenal with the keyboard itself, made out of that wood and those metals has the ASIO logo and just looks sleek and very, very nice with the keyboard. And as far as the layout of the board, you can see it really maintains a super nice layout, maintaining those F keys on top and then kind of rolling out at the bottom with your arrow keys and some of your functionality keys like delete, home, and end. And if you are somebody who has a nice high-end office or you have clients coming into your office, I think that this keyboard could be a talking piece look absolutely phenomenal on any hardwood desk and just has a really nice vintage type writer type feel to it and a little gastro punky vibe to it that I think any client coming into your office would be kind of uh, taken away by a keyboard uh, if uh, anybody is into a you know keyboard typing experience or just anything that looks absolutely beautiful and unique on your desk. Even if you're somebody who is a keyboard enthusiast, I think that you would really enjoy having this keyboard in your collection. If you're performing any work on a uh, Mac type product or have anything that you want a keyboard for with those Bluetooth purposes, the keyboard just feels absolutely phenomenal. The typing experience is really nice. Again, a little bit of pinging would be my only complaint. Uh, but the keyboard, the backspace, anything that typically has those stabilizers, everything just feels very good, very responsive, very tactile, and a really nice typing experience. And as far as the typing experience uh, itself, it does feel extremely good. The switches are very, very tactile. Uh, the stabilizers, of course, are not necessarily 
uh, anything remotely similar to what you would find in a mechanical keyboard. So there really is no rattle or anything in that regard for those switches themselves. The board has a little bit of ping, uh, but overall the typing experience feels very, very tactile, clicky, and crisp. And to give you guys a sound test, Overall feels very good, but there is quite a bit of pain. And while you do have the board on your desk, you can see that it really maintains that sleek and classy metal and wood look. Uh, but when you do flip it over and you get to the bottom of the board, you can see that uh, you do have your default feet, uh, but the bottom of the board is actually a plastic encasing. So it is kind of a um, unfortunate that the entirety of the board isn't at that nice metal material, uh, but when you do have it in its upright position, it looks sleek, beautiful, and definitely maintains that vintage look that it's going for. And you can see the bottom of the wrist rest has that ASIO Retro Classic on the bottom as well, and has really nice feet to keep it in place. And the default feet on the board have uh, the default feet on the board have large rubber bases and you will not have any issue with the board moving around on your desk. The keycaps are removable and replaceable and replacing them and putting them back into the board is fairly easy. So for anybody who's been interested in an ASIO keyboard, I can say that it is exactly what it sets out to be, a vintage typewriter type experience. The board is absolutely beautiful. It feels hefty, it feels premium. The unboxing experience is beautiful. And if this is something that you as a keyboard enthusiast could see yourself or have been interested in purchasing, uh, I definitely recommend it as long as that pinging on the typing experience isn't something that uh, would be bothersome to you at all. But again, a beautiful, mechanical, clicky feeling typing experience definitely uh, coalesces with that typewriter type experience and just an overall extremely good product that I highly recommend. If that helped guys, please leave a subscription to the channel and I'll see you guys in the next review. Peace.